The government has given assurance to farmers in East and St. Thomas that they will not be displaced from lands that they now occupy. The lands are controlled by the Sugar Company of Jamaica. Gabriel Thompson has that story. In 2009, the assets of the St. Thomas Sugar Estate were divested by the government. SCJ Holdings manages some 65,000 acres of former sugarcane lands across the island. Today, dozens of small farmers informally occupy former farmlands in eastern St. Thomas. However, in recent months, some of these farmers have been complaining about being given notice to exit 500 acres of lands said to be leased to a cattle owner. The farmers wrote to the public defender Arlene Harrison Henry about the matter. On Thursday, July 30, she, along with some concerned farmers, met with SCJ boss Joseph Shukair. Now, Mr. Shukair has come here this morning and has admitted to the farmers group over there that the Sugar Company of Jamaica, with full knowledge that farmers were on the land, gave a lease to a company, um, and we understand now that it's for the growing, raising, and breeding of cattle on the land, and that this was done without consultation, without the, uh, without consultation with the farmers who were already on the land. These sugar farmers are displaced sugar workers. Jamaica will know that the sugar companies in this part of eastern St. Thomas have been closed and there is no work for people, no land for people, and that they have sought to earn their living as decent Jamaicans. As already taken barbed wire fence and fenced up certain areas. So what you are saying is that even that he's prepared to take up those fencing and to be removed. I have told you what I am, I am prepared to do. I am the landlord. I own the land. There are provisions in the lease that can bring it to an end. Okay. Bring it to an early end. Yes. There are provisions in the lease which would require him, if there are people on the land farming, he pays a reduced rent for the areas that are not needed. Mr. Shakir said that SCJ is now in the process of regularizing the farmers as well as to make arrangements for those that want to be relocated. As I told them, government's intention is not to make money out of them, but for them to grow crops, to better the national economy and to create a livelihood for their families. Um, that is how we reap our reward, by their productive activity which benefits the economy. Um, secondly, there is a group of farmers that want to be placed elsewhere and they too will be placed elsewhere with leases. The message is, farmers stay where you are, each, we, uh, an SCJ team will visit each of you, we will determine your situation and we will regularize you with a proper lease agreement. If it is where you are now and that's where you want to stay, then you will have to stay there. The meeting became animated at times as the anxieties of the farmers became apparent. However, veteran politician and current House Speaker Pernell Charles assured them that the government would not allow their displacement, a point echoed by his daughter, Dr. Patrice Charles Freeman. The Minister of Agriculture has advised that lands in the Golden Grove area that owned by the government will be distributed to cane farmers and that the government will also assist them. I have been informed by Mr. Shakur and SCJ that the farmers that are currently on the land should stay and that he should, he's asked us for two weeks to come back to inform us of how he will be distributing the land. This is very important. Today is a good day for the farmers. We are going to give him the two weeks. We're going to hold him accountable. And we expect that he's going to come back with the information needed so that our farmers can stay on the land. The assurance given to the farmers from SCJ is that in the second week in August, the company will start the process to standardize the leasing of the 500 acres of contested lands. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Gabrielle Thompson.